Hi YouTube, this is Safni and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I will show you the 15 pro tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy A7 2018. Also, you can apply these tips in the other A series Samsung phones too. So guys, if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more videos. So guys, let's get into the tips. And the tip number one is the S Secure. So this app is developed by Samsung and it only works with the Samsung phones. The main advantage of this app is you can lock all the apps securely with the biometrics. I already installed the app so let's check out these features. So after the installation open the app and turn on the toggle button. Then set a pattern. After this done go to your settings and select the apps which you want to lock. So I already selected the gallery and Instagram app. After you've done these settings, you can see a small icon on the apps. So by this way, you can lock all the apps and secure your files. Also you can access these in the settings, add-on features, lock and mask apps. So the next one is the dark mode. The Samsung UI is almost white even in the settings, messaging app and the dialog. So it doesn't have an option to change the color to a dark one. So the dark screen is more useful for the day and nighttime usage. Also it helps to increase the battery life. So for getting dark mode in a Samsung device, go to themes and search for a high contrast theme and apply a theme. So this is how the UI looks like after applying the theme. Almost all the system apps are turned into black. And this is the settings app look like. Entirely black background and the icons are in different colors. So I think it is more convenient to use in the low light or in the night condition. So the tip number 3, the landscape mode. So by enabling the landscape mode, you can use the Galaxy A7 in a fully tablet view mode. So go to the home screen settings, then turn off the toggle button for the landscape mode. Then turn on the auto rotation too. So you can use the device entirely in a tablet view mode. So the next tip is quick open notification panel. Out of the box Samsung comes with some default settings like swipe up and swipe down for the app drawer and if you want to access the notification you must go to the top of the screen. To avoid this go to the home screen settings and turn on the quick open notification panel. So after this swipe up for the app drawer and swipe down for the notification. So by this way you can easily access the notification in the home screen. So tip number 5, the navigation gesture. So once you enable these features, you can control all the navigation by gestures like home, back and recent apps. For enabling these features, go to settings, then display, then navigation bar. Then turn on the home, back and recent actions and hide the navigation bar by tapping the dot. So then you can control the device using the gesture. So swipe left for the recent app. Swipe middle for the home screen and swipe right for the back. So the next tip is long press app shortcuts. So this is a new feature introduced from the Android 7.0 Nougat and it has ability to long press the app icons for additional shortcuts without opening the app. Like create a contact, search images, create message and you can even uninstall or view app info. So this feature is not available in all the apps but most of the system apps support this. Yeah. 
So the next tip is dot badges. So normally these app badges are shows the notification numbers on the top. So avoid these notification numbers. Go to the home screen settings. Then select the app icon badges. Then select the show with dot. So it will hide the numbers and only shows the dot. So this is how it looks like and you can see the difference. So the tip number 8 always on display. So the Samsung Galaxy S1 support always on display and you can simply turn it on from the notification button. Also you can add custom images or themes for the AOD. Long press the AOD button for more settings. So from this you can adjust the time limit of the AOD and also customize the clock and download the themes from the Samsung themes. So the tip number 9, touch sensitivity. The Galaxy S7 display is little bit projected from the frame and most of the users will go for a tempered glass for protection. Actually the tempered glass will reduce the touch sensitivity. So to avoid this, go to settings and advanced features then turn on the touch sensitivity toggle button. So enabling this feature, your touch over a tempered glass is more responsive and accurate. So the tip number 10, record calls. From this year, Samsung provides a free inbuilt call recording option which gives a massive audio quality other than any other third party call recording app in the market. So to activate the call recording, open the dialer, then go to your settings. Swipe down and select the record calls. Then turn on the auto call record toggle button. And also there is more options like record all numbers, unsaved or saved contacts. So I think this is a good feature from Samsung and it is very useful. So the tip number 11, the camera shutter button. This is a cool feature to add the additional shutter button or a floating button to the screen. So you can simply add the additional shutter button by drag the button to the screen. And if you want to remove the floating button, then simply drag it to the home button. The tip number 12, Bixby Vision. So when you open the camera, you can see a small eye icon on the bottom left corner. And that is the Bixby Vision. So this is the Bixby interface. And the torchlight button on the top. And on the bottom there is some buttons like text, image, QR code reader, etc. So let's check it with the Nikon camera cap. And you can see it shows some text like Nikon, camera, and RC lens on the top and also it shows some images too so by clicking that image you can see more details about the product and you can see more images related to that product then the next useful feature is the text you can easily extract the text from the image and you can share it to the social media or you can save it or even you can edit it and save it So tip number 13, AR emoji. So Galaxy S7 is the first A series phone which comes with the AR emoji. And from the help of the AR emoji, you can create a 3D character that resembles to your face. Also you can customize the old character by changing the dress style, hairstyle and color. After all this done, you can apply these stickers to the camera. And after creating the character, there will be some GIFs also created in your gallery. So you can actually share those GIFs to your friends and you can share it to the social media too. Tip number 14, multi window. So when you open the recent apps, you can see a small box icon over the top of some apps. So those apps actually support the multi window feature. So just hold the app which you want to use and drag and drop it into the blue area. So you can actually use these apps in multi window. Also in the same way you can add multiple windows into the screen and use those apps as multi window. 
and the second type of multi window is split screen so i will show you how it works with the youtube app and a browser so first open the youtube app then go to recent apps then i selected the browser by tapping the box over the top of the app and then select the youtube app and swipe it so in this split screen feature you can actually use these two apps very comfortably by watching a video and browsing on the browser also you can use youtube with whatsapp youtube with facebook and all tip number 15 fingerprint gesture so to enabling this feature go to settings then advanced features then select the fingerprint gesture and turn on the toggle button this will help you to access the notification panel by swiping down the fingerprint sensor and swiping up for close the notification so guys these are my 15 tips for the galaxy s on 2018 and hope this video will help you and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more videos and thank you for watching my video guys and see you on my next video